What's up YouTube? My name is Smitty. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we do travel videos, truck videos, and other things. I definitely set that out of order, so I'm gonna say that one more time. We do truck videos, travel videos, and other things. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you're returning, thank you so much for watching me press and play. It means a great deal to me and costs very little to you except for your time. And thank you. This video is gonna be a truck video. Uh, a lot of you may know that I currently live in my Toyota 4Runner and I absolutely love it, but the bed platform that I made doesn't utilize as much space as I'd hoped. So I'm gonna be ripping that out. I'm gonna be showing you how I built the platform. It's very simple, anyone can do it. I, I live for simplicity. I live for it. And if I can pass along a little of my simplicity on the next person, I have done my job. I hope I made you happy. I hope you enjoy the simplicity of me. That's me. After I rip it out, I'm gonna go in and start building the new platform so you can see exactly how I built it. I really hope you enjoy this video. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Let's get to it. Yeah. frame and platform out I started building another one as you can see this one has much much more storage I don't focus on the gap right there because it's not all the way up here I just threw it in here so to give you a visual representation of what I'm doing all right so what I did is I bought four two by twos uh, eight foot long I am six three I needed at least 75 inches I bought four two by fours for the center supports and birch wood. There you go. I started this by just getting the 75 inches long on the length. You have to subtract this and this for the total of 35 inches. I think this was 32 inches and this is an inch and a half and then this one was an inch and a half to make it a total of 35 inches. After I did the rectangle, I built the legs. How high do I want it? I wanted it to come up to about right here and then my five inch mattress would come to about right here the opening of this. I think this was seven inches total. I don't remember exactly. I took the inch and a half and five and a half to give me the seven. After I made the legs, each leg is gonna be 100% different. So this leg might be five and a half, this one might be four and a half because the, the carpet, the way the vehicle's made, no vehicle's made 100% square. After I did that, I made all the legs going down. After I did that, I made these dividers. Again, just measure from the very top all the way down to the floor, very top all the way down to the floor. Space it exactly where you want it. And then I subtracted an inch and a half and notched off this corner. So it did that and then did that front one. And also, as you can see, I rounded out the wheel well. A lot of people are gonna ask me how I notched out the wheel well. In comes this fancy thing right here. If you've never seen this, it's a Saker measuring device. The majority of the people that use these is for houses. 
uh, to get perfect right angles. And when you're doing grout and tile in your kitchen, you want the perfect right angle. So you can use this pretty much anywhere. I'm not sponsored by the way. Pretty sure everyone's seen that little thing, that game with your hand, you push in and it shows the intention of your hand. This is the same concept. You basically just put it where you want it and just push down. And then it'll trace it out for you. And then this bottom piece right here, that's what you put on the wood. And then you take a marker and you draw it on the wood or whatever project you're doing and then cut it out. I'll try and put the links to this in the description. As you can see, this wood rests very close to this wheel well. Cut the little circle thing off of a command strip. That way it'll rest, this'll rest against that instead of the wood. I'll put three of them. One there in the end, one in the middle, and one all the way near the, the door. Just a little quick tip. Use it, don't use it. Up to you. Let's go ahead and knock out the next divider. Sorry, I ran to the store and I uh, forgot to start filming again. Y'all are pretty much caught up to where I am, minus this piece right here. So what I did is I measured from the end here to how big I wanted the cubby. Then, all right, so here's the piano hinge on the back side. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the end there to this piece right here. And I already cut it. It's right there. But I forgot to film it. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is measure from here to here. That's going to be it's going to be two separate cubbies. And then this, this is going to be one whole cubby. And then I'm going to measure from here to there. That's a cubby.